Now, let's talk about the brushes you have in Calipay. You can find your brushes here. You have a predefined brushes set, so you can work on everything from rough to clean and colors. You have the basic brush here, but also a flat brush, a china marker, a pencil, another one here, a charcoal, I don't show you everything here, you can just discover it and try, but my personal favorite is the Indian ink, with that very special rendering, which is perfect for my sketches and the lines of my characters. As we saw earlier, you can just increase the size, decrease it, same for the opacity, double tap to add any value, in the brush panel, swipe from right to left to duplicate, export or delete a brush. Tap on a brush to use it and tap a second time to enter the settings. At the top here you have a preview so you can see in real time how it will look. You can play with the smoothing, double tap to enter values, the spacing here, the color mix which can make really nice effects. I enable it here. Long touch with two fingers for the floating menu, color wheel, and if I draw like that and add another color, it will mix. I can define the value of the color mix, for example there, it will mix more. I can re-inject color, so I have a yellow here and a blue it will look like that and if I don't re-inject it will look like this. In that situation the blue will be added more and more when I draw and in that one it won't so it will be able to mix more with the other color. Here the color charge will add my current color at the start of the stroke and then mix and if I don't have it it will be like that. You have the smudge, which will mix the colors without adding the current color. If I go to my brush here and I activate the dry option, I decrease the opacity. With one stroke, I can increase the opacity and just put layers on top of each other. But without the dry, the opacity will stay the same until I leave the screen and I just put another stroke. If the pressure controls the size, I can use the pressure of the Apple Pencil. And if I don't, it won't. You can define the smallest size here and the biggest here. When I add pressure, it won't be as big as that one. Same goes for the pressure controls opacity. Now the tip of the brush. On the basic tools, which you can see with the dash here, we have a few ones. You can't change the tip, but on other ones, for example here, the marker, you can tap here and add another tip. On the Indian ink, for example, we have different tips. Same goes for the charcoal. You can long touch to delete one tip. And you can define the cycle of it. Is it random or linear? Then you can define the rotation style of your tip. Here, if I go to none, it will look like this. If I go to random, it will look like that. And you can also go to stylus azimuth, and you also have line angle. Here in the charcoal, we have a texture. A texture is a black and white grayscale image on which the brush will apply when drawing. So here I have my texture, and here I don't have it. 
and you can define the strength of your texture with the alpha threshold. The last setting in a brush is anti-aliasing. Here on the charcoal, if I disable it, I will draw like that. And if I enable it, it will be like that. If I zoom, I can see a tiny difference. Here it's more sharp and here it's more smoothened and kind of blurry around. It's also very visible on the raw brush. Here without anti-aliasing. And here with. Here it's sharp and here it's more smooth. You can try it with the pencil, without, and with. It looks more natural here. And if I try with the marker, without, and with. Depending on the brush you use, it can be a subtle difference and it will be more visible if the tip here doesn't have anti-aliasing. At any point, if you need to reset your brushes, you can go to the settings here, general and clear tools, but it will delete all the brushes, including the brushes you made. Because you can make brushes in Calipeg, here I can just tap on the plus, have a new tool and define the different settings I want for that particular brush. I can also just slide here and duplicate to start from that one and make my own. I can delete that. And if I want to export a brush, I just slide on it, export, choose a location, and then I can import it in another Calipeg here with the import icon, files. I select my brush, and now it's in my list. To finish that part about brushes, I can tell you about the shapes. Basically here, it's a freehand shape, so you can just draw whatever you want. You have a line here to draw straight lines. If you draw, hold, hold the finger on the screen, you can magnetize it to 15 degrees angles. So you can make straight lines, horizontal, diagonal. You have the rectangle here with one finger it becomes a square, two fingers, it becomes a rectangle starting from the pencil tip, and three fingers, it becomes a square starting from the pencil tip. You can also draw ellipses. One finger will make circles, two fingers will make an ellipse from the tip of your pencil, and three fingers will make a circle from the tip of your pencil. And finally, you can draw with field shapes. If I tap here once, I select it and tap again, it becomes field. So I can draw plain colors. Same goes for the ellipse. And my favorite is the freehand field shape, because then I can just draw and play like that. And I can create shapes and volumes easily. That way you can just search for silhouettes, for characters, for backgrounds. You can paint from a reference. You can really do anything with that kind of shapes. And you can also apply it on the eraser. So I can erase like that. And then go back to drawing. I hope you will like this too.